What's up, everyone? Punmeister X here, and your boy Snoop Dogg. Yes, S N O O P D O O G has called out on Instagram Microsoft for their shitty Xbox Live service. So on his Instagram, he was messaging basically Microsoft and anyone else in charge in Xbox, being like, "I can't play shit right now. I can't get online and play any games, and this is shit." And basically, is like, "I'm going to PlayStation if this keeps going up." So the internet's been in a storm over this today, and you know what? I I kind of agree with him on this. I mean, isn't it weird that ever since the PS4 and the Xbox One have come out, the service has just been shitty. The servers is always down, both Xbox Live and PS1. The servers are always down, and it's always in the news that, oh, look, the server is down, or oh, look, someone has hacked the server, and it's down again. It's just like, what the fuck are you guys paying for? Like, okay, so if Microsoft and Sony are charging you $60 a year to play online on their consoles, you would think at this point that it should be supreme quality over free online on the PC. Now, I'm not saying the PC is better, but you would think that if you're playing online that you should have a quality service that you can't find anywhere else because you're you get you're paying for that service. You're paying sixty dollars for a incredible online experience. But if the servers are down all the time, the fact that there's always a group of hackers, like say Lizard Squad or something, coming out and just taking it down, a DDoS attack or some kind of shit like that. It's just like, what's the point? So I used to be on Xbox Live for a while and enjoyed the whole experience, but. At one point, I was just like, you know what? I could probably get a better experience on PC. So I switched to PC, I built a PC, and realized I'm not paying anything really to play online just except for buying the game, and I don't have to deal with all the other problems on those servers on on consoles. Like, for example, no one wants to play with eight-year-old kids on Xbox Live, and I had to deal with that the entire time I played Xbox Live. I think every other game was basically playing with kids. I'm like, I don't want to go online and have to hear some annoying kid. Now, I'm not saying all kids are annoying, but from what I see on Xbox Live, just as an example, is just these annoying kids that won't don't know how to shut the fuck up or, you know, are not whiny or anything like that. It's like playing with kids who think the psycho videos that McJuggernuggets makes are actually real. Now on PC for the most part, I've had a pretty decent experience where you don't have these annoying kids. I mean, yeah, there's gonna be one every now and then, but for the most part, I can play online and not have to like rip my ears out or my head off its neck or whatever. (laughs) But just, I don't have to get annoyed by that shit or the fact that I have to pay for anything. So this has been on the news like every couple weeks is like, oh, the servers are down again. Oh, the servers are down again. And now that Snoop Dogg has come out and just like, yo, what the fuck, man? I want to play games online and I can't and I'm paying this much money. Not that Snoop Dogg really needs to worry about money, but for the amount of money that they make off Xbox Live and PSN, they should have steady servers and it should you know be a quality product and they're not doing that and it's ridiculous so my question is will they listen to the man the myth the legend snoop dogg and as he said get their shit together only time will tell man only time will tell until then let's just roll another joint